Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to create a uh, shape tween. So, shape tweens are what it sounds like changing shape, but you can also do a little bit more with shape tweens. You can also move motion or change location with a shape tween, but shape tweens are ideal for changing the shape of an object. So, let's go ahead and give this a try, and um, I'll just call this a morphing star. So, on frame one of this layer, I'm just going to work on one layer here. So on frame one, it currently has an empty keyframe. I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, shape tool here, and I'm going to jump down to the poly star tool. Over in my properties panel, I'll choose options, change it over to a star, and I'll do a five point star. It's currently pink with a thin gray border or stroke. And let's see, I'll just go ahead and draw a star right here in the middle. Let me use my selection tool double click that star to select it and I'll just kind of reposition a little bit better. So there's my star and it is a merge shape by the way. Uh, another quick way you can tell it's a merge shape is that if I select it you see all those tiny little dots. That's, uh, that's an indicator that it's a merge shape which is what you want if you're going to do a shape tween. And a shape tween is great for changing the shape of a merge shape. So that's it frame one. I've got a pink star. I'm going to jump over to frame uh, let's see, how about frame 48 right there? So there's frame 48. And on this one, I'm going to press F6. F6 will make it a keyframe. So I just press the F6 on my keyboard, and I've got a filled in keyframe. And it simply just copies over basically what was on the prior keyframe. So on frame one, I had a filled in star. F6, I pressed, I'm sorry. Frame 48, I pressed my F6 key and filled in that keyframe. Now, if I deleted this star, which I certainly could, then it's now an empty keyframe, but still a keyframe. So, what I'm going to do here, in fact, let me Control Z, I'll put that star back. Control Z again. All right. And let me just do something really quick and simple here. I'll go ahead and change the fill color. Um, of the star to green. Okay, so on frame one, it's pink. And on frame 48, it's green. If I right click on any of the frames in between these two keyframes, I can choose create a shape tween. And now it's a shape tween. And basically, Flash fills in all the little in between frames with a slow transition to what I want at the end. I start with pink, I finish with green. If I press my enter key, we see that transformation from pink to green on my star. Easy enough. I can also go to that 48th frame, last frame, use my selection tool, click away to deselect, and I can start to morph this star a bit. Maybe I'll chubify the points there. Okay, so there we go. So now it's changed a little bit. But this is also going to impact my shape tween. So it's going to start with a pink pointy and then it finishes with a green roundy, so it'll morph as I go along. That is a shape tween in action. Now you can also do some really dramatic things with this too. If I, once again, selection tool, I can see that my star is selected by clicking on that frame, just delete it, empty keyframe, and look, it broke my uh, shape tween, but I'm gonna add something back. I'll put in a uh, rectangle. Really big rectangle. That keyframe is filled in, filled in again. My shape tween is reconstructed. Now I'm going to go from a pink pointy star to a big green rectangle. And there we go. And that is a shape tween in action. And I think I'll tackle this in another video, but you can run into some problems with your shape tweens. And also with shape tweens, if you're doing multiple as part of a movie, then you want to make sure they're on separate layers. Having two shape tweens on the same layer can be pretty problematic. All right, see ya.